Hi, I want to talk to you all today about something. First, I want you to listen. Do you hear that? That is the sound of silence. And that is the point of this video, is that sometimes we have to be alone and embrace the silence. Silence is a very powerful thing. You know, I went to the gym yesterday and I left my ear pods in the car and I was doing my regular workout. It was a light workout. Uh, it was leg day. And I realized something, something I always talk about when it comes to learning, but it also applies to everything else in life. It's that sometimes you need the silence. You know, if you go to the gym or if you go to a library and you see people studying or working out, a lot of times they have earplugs on. They have music. There's entire YouTube channels. There's popular streams of music that people listen to. There's a thing called study music. There's a whole genre devoted to this. But silence is more powerful than any of that. I don't care what kind of music it is. Silence gives you clarity when studying, when working out, when doing anything. And we live in a world today where we are surrounded by noise. You know, people sit down to study and they turn on their music. They go for a run and they listen to music or a podcast or an audiobook. They always have to have some sort of audio stimulation. But you hear that? That's silence. Silence is where power comes from. You can take everything to the next level if you just embrace silence. And, and I'm not saying you have to do it all the time, but try it. I used to have this friend, and during this time, I was running a lot. I was running five, six miles a day, sometimes even 10 miles. And I told him that I would run without music. And he was just blown away. He's like, how, how, how can you do that? That's terrible. I couldn't do it. It's because we're conditioned to always have this stimulation. Embrace the silence and you're going to see it's going to help you with everything. It'll help you with studying. If you study mathematics, it's going to make you a warrior. And speaking of math, there was this famous Hungarian mathematician. His name was Paul Erdos. He was very eccentric. He would go door to door and he would knock on people's doors and say, my mind is open. He would travel from university to university. He would collaborate with many mathematicians. And I'm paraphrasing here. It's been a while since I read this, but I'm pretty sure he thought music was the devil. I mean, he said something like that. He, was, he had a lot of opinions, a lot of strange thoughts and opinions that don't really conform to societal norms. But he embraced silence. And I think he was right in that. I think that's how maybe he produced some of his proofs. I mean, they're really clever and amazing. So embrace the silence, my friends. So the next time you're going to go study, the next time you go to the gym, take a moment and embrace the silence. And you're going to notice a huge difference. Be present in whatever you're doing. If you're studying mathematics, just the silence of you and the mathematics. If you're working out, just, I mean, you're going to hear noise in the gym, but just focus on your breath, focus on feeling your muscles. 
it gives you a better way of being present. When you have that audio stimulation in your ears all the time, you can't really focus on what you're doing. And I think that's the message from this video. Try it. I think it'll make a, a big difference in your life. I have math courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Check it out. And I also have books. Links in the description. The key takeaway from this video is embrace the silence. We live in a world of noise. Most people have their minds constantly polluted. Focus on the present. And the best way to do that is to be in silence, my friends. Embrace it. It'll help you. Take care.